Hello, my name is Shatrugan Mahato and I work for BMC Remedy Force product. Today I am going to talk about how to use Workbench Developer tool for insert, update, delete data from Remedy Force. During our demo, we will talk about how to log in, in Workbench Developer tool, steps to insert, update, and delete data from Remedy Force with the help of Workbench Developer tool. These DML operations are uh, really helpful in our real-time day-to-day uh, -day life in troubleshooting the Remedy Force cases. Suppose if you don't have any cases in your org and you want to insert some of the org's uh, incidents into your Remedy Force org, then we can use this for uh, inserting uh, or creating data into the Remedy Force. To start our demo, we'll first have to log in in Remedy Force console and then we have to log in in Workbench Developer tool. So I have already logged in in Workbench Developer tool and also in the Remedy Force console. So if you see the total number of incidents here is 129. And if you want to uh, create any more incidents, for your testing purpose, we can do it from the Workbench Developer tool. So we have to go to the data menu and then we have to select the incident options. So you have to take an, uh, if you are creating an incident for incident object, then we have to select the objects that you are use, wants to insert data. There is an option for single record or from many records. So if you select single records, a single record will be created and if you select form file the multiple records will be created at the same time I need to click on next you have to fill the mandatory fields uh, required for creating an incident in our case mandatory fields are category templates and incident description so I have filled this mandatory fields required to create an incident and then I will click on confirm insert So the incident has been created and the Salesforce ID for that incident is this one. I will copy this Salesforce ID from Workbench Developer Tool and try to find it in the Remedy Force. This is the incident created from the Salesforce site. So we can say, see this in the Remedy Force console that the incident has been created, test by Workbench Developer Tool 1 that we have created right now. So in this way, we can create a new incident in Remedy Force through the Workbench Developer tool. Now we'll see how to update any incident from the Workbench Developer tool. We need to select the update option from here. We need to select the objects. So we have uh, testing for incident object and we'll go with a single records update. Click on next. We'll have to put the incident ID here. So basically in internally it will be updating the records, incident records with the help of ID as a where conditions and uh, another field that we need to update is any other fields that you need to update. So I'm taking an example for updating a client. So I will update the client ID as my name. Let's see. Click on update. So the record has been updated. Now, if you want to see this, the client in Remedy Force, you will see the client ID has been updated. Reload this page. You can see the client ID has been updated to this client. Now we'll show you how we can delete the incident record from the Remedy Force with the help of Workbench. We need to select uh, the delete option from here. And this is a single record. So click on next. Put the ID that need to be deleted. It's this one. In Remedy Force console, it is incident number 181. So just click on confirm delete. It's showing the deleted message. Let's go back to the Remedy Force console and we check for 181 incident number. 
181 has been deleted successfully and there is no nothing in the console. So this way we can use the remedy force uh, workbench developer tool to insert update and delete records for remedy force. I'm sure this video was informative for you.